What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we have a brand new snapshot 22W13A which finally introduces the ancient cities into the real snapshots. Not only that but it also introduces the alley as well. So first let's start talking about the ancient cities. The ancient cities are very similar to what we saw in the experimental snapshot about a month ago but they do have some tweaks in their structures and also some tweaks to their loot. Personally, I thought the ancient cities that were released in the uh, experimental snapshot did not have the loot worthy enough to, for somebody to go down and actually attempt to get past the warden and get the loot. All it basically had was the swift sneak enchantment, which is cool, but definitely not enough to risk fighting the warden. But now we actually have some decent loot down here. So a lot of these chests you're just going to find the normal things you would normally find in loot chests. But we're also going to find some diamond armor, enchanted, uh, some diamond tools, things like that. Things that you'd find in the in cities. And while this is not going to be in every chest, I do think that it finally makes it worth it to go down into the ancient cities and actually fight the warden. Or try to sneak past the warden to get all the loot that is down here. But speaking of new structures in the ancient city, this right here is sort of an underwater ice cave, part of the deep dark ancient city combo, and I think this is really cool. There's some note blocks down here, uh, which you obviously don't want to trip because that will awaken the warden, but I will awaken the warden anyway while trying to uh, just find the loot that's down here, and it ends up just drowning in the water, which was sort of annoying to listen to, but it's kind of cool on how you could avoid the warden, uh, and the loot in this chest didn't even end up being very good just some ice some potatoes and carrots uh, but hopefully there is some better loot when you go and find this chest but of course as I said you are gonna find better loot in this chest right here we found some protection for diamond leggings in another chest I found uh, some protection for mending diamond leggings as well also an enchanted hoe so you can really find a lot of decent loot down here now and I think that definitely does make it worth it to come down here also this is a pretty open area so you're likely to find some diamonds some other materials in the wall which might make it worth it as well but of course every time you open a chest you're basically going to set off a skulk shrieker which is going to bring the warden out which you do not want the warden has an insane amount of health and also does an insane amount of damage so you're really not going to want to fight the warden the best way to actually go and get these chests is to bring some wool blocks with you place the wool around the chest before you open it that way the noise does not actually go over to the skulk shrieker block I of course decided to test this out on a few different areas of this ancient city that I was in because I wanted to make sure that you could actually do this without setting off any of the skulk blocks. I think this is definitely the best way to do this. Obviously you need to be sneaking while in the ancient cities unless you're standing on top of wool, but when you're actually trying to get the loot out of the chest, just throwing some wool down around it so you don't accidentally bring the warden out, this is definitely going to be the best way to do it. I also think this gives wool a very unique interesting purpose. It blocks sound now which is going to be important not only for when you're in the ancient cities but also when you're dealing with the alley and the note blocks. So obviously putting uh, any block on top of the note blocks before it used to take away the sound from it but now the only thing that will work with that is wool. And I think this is super interesting for wool. It's basically a huge new addition to the game, uh, just using different types of sounds to complete different kinds of tasks in the actual game. And also, when you're talking about chests, you really don't actually have to surround that much. If you just put one block on each of these corners where these skulk blocks are, that's going to work just fine and you should be able to open the chest. That is, of course, as of this snapshot and things with sound are definitely likely to change in coming snapshots and even the final release. I think that while this is probably how it's going to be in the final release, they are probably going to experiment it with a bit more because there is a lot of issues that could come up uh, with the tech players of Minecraft and what this means for them. Next up, let's talk the LA. So the LA you're supposed to be able to find in Pillager Outposts and the Woodland Mansions. Basically, the Illagers are going to uh, imprison the LA in these different prisons, and you can go and find them there and then use them to your own benefit. Now, unfortunately, in the world I was in, I didn't manage to find the LA in either the Pillager Outpost or the Woodland Mansion that was closest to me, and I didn't feel like going and searching for every single Pillager Outpost around, but you are supposed to be able to find them there. 
Now the actual purpose of the outlay is the outlay will collect all surrounding items that match the item they're holding. And to actually give them an item, all you have to do is right click the item into their hands and then they will take it from there. I think this is a super cool mob, definitely could have some very cool uses, especially with uh, collection type farms, anything like that. It's definitely going to be very cool to see how the Minecraft community experiments with this and also how the tech community uses this in their projects. So the outlay will always like a player who hands them an item and will bring the items they collect right back to the player that they like. And if the outlay hears a note block play, that note block will become the outlay's favorite note block for 30 seconds. The outlay will stay near that note block for that duration and bring its collected items to the note block instead of the player. So basically, the outlay will continue holding the item and collecting it for you as long as you want. And if you're using a note block, then you're going to have to set up some sort of system that triggers the note block every 30 seconds so that the outlay continues to bring its items back to that note block. Now the LA will only bring back the item that it is holding, so it's not going to bring back any variants of the item. If you drop white wool, it's going to bring back white wool. If you, bring, if you give it red wool, it'll bring you red wool. And also it'll only hold a stack at a time, so I think that's pretty fair. Only being able to hold a stack in its inventory to bring back to you, that actually does make a lot of sense. Also, if you want to change out what the LA is holding, just tap it with your uh, bare hand and it will take the item back from the LA. And then you can go ahead and give it a new item or the same item, basically whatever you're trying to collect. Also, one other massive change came in this snapshot as well, which I'm not really going to show off, but I'll talk about as I just experiment with the LA. Minecarts now have a completely new functionality when they're combined with a hopper, a chest, a furnace, or anything of that sort. So now when you break that minecart that has the hopper or the chest in it, it's just going to drop it as one item instead of splitting up into two items. So if you break a hopper minecart, it's going to drop a hopper minecart, which I absolutely love. I hate having to go about recrafting all of these things every time I make them, and it's definitely going to be very nice to be able to just break each one, and it drops it as one item. We are getting a ton of features of the 1.19 update so far, but what we still haven't really seen is any of the new biomes or any changes to existing biomes. And that is something we really expect to see as it is the wild update. We of course now have the LA, the ancient cities, and the deep dark, and we've actually seen the new mangrove wood, but we have not seen the new biomes that the mangroves will be a part of. And in the uh, Minecraft Live event last year, they also showed off some concept art of how they would change the birch forest and things like that. I would really love to see some changes to these biomes. Obviously, we are still a long ways from the 1.19 update. We're really not expecting that until the summer. So hopefully we start seeing some snapshots uh, in the coming weeks that actually include those changes, the new biomes, things like that. That is all that I have for you guys today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We of course cover the Minecraft updates, but we also cover mega bases and so much more, so go ahead and check out the rest of our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.